Nahmadahu wa nusalli ala rasulihil kareem Viewers, peace be unto you I welcome you yet to another Islamic weekly quiz program I am your host Nizam Razak And the topic we are covering tonight, inshallah, general IQ I repeat, general IQ IQ number one How many days did Allah take to create the heavens and earth? Question number one on tonight's program. How many days did Allah take to create the heavens and the earth? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You see, in six days, Allah created the heavens and the earth. Are you sure? I'm quite sure. You're quite sure? Yes. Okay, thank you very much for being our first caller and also our first winner. Congratulations. And your name? Brother Carlo. Carlo. Thank you very much. Six days Allah take to create. Six days Allah took to create the heavens and the earth. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes. After Allah created the heavens and the earth, he then proceeded to create something and something. Name them. After Allah would have created the heavens and the earth, he created something and something. Name them. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yeah. The angel and jinn. The angel and jinn. The angels and jinns. Yes. Excellent. And your name? Sherry from Catbush. Sherry. Yes. After that, Allah created the angels followed by the jinns. Excellent. You say you're calling from Scottsboro, right? Yes. Scottsboro. Yes. Thank you very much, okay. Sister Sherry. Adam was created out of something in paradise. Adam was created from something. In paradise, we want to apologize to our sponsors tonight. Their names would be not advertised on the, the screen, rather it would be announced through voice myself. And, but next week it would be Norm again. Yes, question moving on. That is because we have a little difficulty in the studio. Nothing big. Program move on. Yes. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Is it with um, dark moth? What you saying? Adam was created out of something in paradise? Art. And we say it started C. Same thing. C L. Clay? Clay, yes. We say we use that word clay. Adam was created out of clay in heaven. And your name? Farisa. Fariza, catching us loud and clear? Yeah. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Yes, we move on. From whom did Allah create mankind? From whom did Allah create mankind? First, proud sponsor on tonight's program, Mistress Madi, known as Auntie Sylvie of Line Paddy, Back Street. For all your grocery items, your confectionery and haberdashery, call 339-2767. Salaam alaikum to Auntie Sylvie. Salaam alaikum and welcome to your weekly quiz program. Wa alaikum salam, Prophet Adam. Mm, no. Listen to the question carefully. From whom did Allah create mankind? You have to tell me that, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum to little Faniza Zakir of the Zakir's family, teacher Bobby grandchild and Auntie Husna grandchild. And she said that she has not heard her name on the greetings program. So probably we slip, but we send in salam to her today, inshallah. I hope you, she's listening. Yes. Someone give it up. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum as -salam. Yeah. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, yes. Whom? Adam and Eve. And your name? Brother Rashad. Rashad. Wahid. 
After a long time? Well, I walked for 12 hours because of the chippy in West Nenig, I should catch you. So I walked okay. in 12 hours here now. So chippy okay. now. Okay, well, you catch me in true because you, 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 you do win the... You answer the question correctly. Yeah. That's for a shot. Okay. Thank you very much. and Wa alaikum as -salam. Yes. Now, someone is to the first prophet as Muhammad is to the last prophet. Someone is to the first prophet as Muhammad is to the last prophet. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our weekly quiz program. Wa alaikum as -salam. Yeah. Hazrat Adam. Hazrat Adam. And Prophet Muhammad is the last and final. Peace be him. Yes, Hazrat Adam is the first prophet and Muhammad is the last prophet. And your name? Mrs. Tyson. Mistress? Tyson. Tyson. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes. If you die, if you died as an unbeliever, can someone, can some pious relative beg Allah for forgiveness on your behalf? If you died as an unbeliever, can some pious relative explain to me? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum no. Why it is no? I said explain. Because he has died as an unbeliever. Well, that is the question we ask him. And tell me why. Or give me an example. Give me an example from the Quran or something where this, where this incident happened or took place. If a person dies. No, no, somebody else is talking. Who's talking? Shall you? <laughs> no, 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 no. If one body speaking, one body got to speak, right? Okay, you want to help him? Okay, you can help him. Let's hear. Come now, y'all hold because it. Because he may believe in Allah. Mm, no. If you died as an unbeliever, can some pious relative beg Allah for forgiveness on your part? Explain to me why. If it is yes or if it is, if it is no. Nadir Hussein, style 41, number 79 market. For all your electrical appliances, Indian wear, Islamic stickers. You have your Islamic books too. Call 339-3035. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam. Um, is it because you believe in um, Allah? Because no, what is the answer? Yes or no? And then you explain to me. Yes. No. Not correct? Yes. We move on inshallah. If you died as an unbeliever, can some pious relative beg Allah for forgiveness on your behalf? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes. No. Why it is no? The people who die and don't believe in Allah, they, they cannot enter. How can I, can a person enter heaven without... If the, man, if the person believes in Allah, mm -hmm. uh, he, the person cannot make dua for, for him. Because oh, okay. the, the, the prophet, when he will make the dua, he, he asks 